Since I started covering free-to-play games back in 2020, I would say this year 2024 has to be one of the best year we had so far in terms of high-quality popular free-to-play game releases. And we already got so many awesome free-to-play games during the first half of 2024, including popular first-person shooters like X Defined, a brand new third-person looter shooter The First Descendant, a dungeon trawler Dark and Darker, an awesome single-player action RPG called Senless Zone Zero, incredible survival game that just released onto the steam and right now blowing up on popularity and that is once human and on top of that the most exciting part is the game that is supposed to come out in the next six months of 2024 is even more exciting so let's quickly go through some of these games starting with a brand new title that just got released onto the steam while i'm making this video and that is called dungeon Born. it's a brand new free-to-play first person dungeon crawler blending in with a bit of an extraction gameplay with a very immersive dark fantasy setting the game actually got released a couple of days ago and you can play the game right now on steam and it is very popular right now having more than 33,000 daily concurrent players at the beginning of the game the game lets you select your own character class then you simply jump back into these underground dungeons where you have to hunt down treasures fight various type of monsters and hordes and successfully extract from the dungeon and you can take any valuable items that you carry into the lobby which can use to build craft as well as trading it's a pvp slash pve game meaning along the way you will find other adventures like yourself or you can either interact with them, avoid them, or kill them to get better loot. Honestly, the game has very immersive visuals alongside dynamic and very satisfying combat, and also very much popular right now on Steam, having more than 2,600 plus mostly positive reviews. So if you're into these type of extraction style games, it's definitely a great game to check out right now. Moving on, next up, we got a brand new indie first-person shooter called Havoc, and the game actually is supposed to be come out in the 22nd of July, meaning if you're watching this video a bit later, the game probably be already out on steam it's going to be a 5v5 team-based tactical first person shooter with semi-destructible environment and pretty nice low poly art style kind of similar to a budget version of rainbow six siege the primary game mode is going to be the 5v5 bomb diffusal alongside team deathmatch and other fun game modes probably be available at launch a lot of the gameplay mechanics are involved with the semi-destructible environment meaning there's going to be a lot of strategies and skill involved you can break down walls create destructions and ultimately create different parts and catch your opponents off guard so with that i would say every round is going to be different and hopefully the game is going to be pretty interesting and according to their steam page the game is also going to be pretty easy to run even if you have a very low-end potato pc or a laptop it's definitely another plus point and hopefully a lot of people will jump in and enjoy another brand new game that is supposed to come out in the 2024 is the game called black stigma and during the last year i actually got the chance to play and review the game myself and i'm sure this game is going to be very interesting for a lot of you guys out there it's an upcoming round based third person hero shooter but the best way i can explain this game that is basically a john wick style shooter with a combination of close range martial art combat so overall the game has a very unique combination of close range combat and shooting but even if i say it's shooting the game doesn't have any powerful weapons like assault rifles smgs or sniper rifles it has a very diverse set of characters that you can select each comes with a very unique set of skills and abilities as well as a preferred handgun yes you only get handguns in this game but there is a massive arsenal of different variation with each category already available and as i previously said it's a round based game meaning every round you have to buy different ammo types or you have to recharge your abilities with in-game currency kind of similar to a game like valorant but at the same time being a third person shooter right now we don't really have an exact release date for this game but you'll find the game on the free to play upcoming section on steam and right now the game is going through a playtest stage so if you're interested in getting your hands-on experience with the game you simply have to request access so hopefully it's going to be very interesting one of the biggest first person shooter launches that is going to be happened this year is going to be the arena breakout infinite it's a very popular mobile game developed by tencent and very recently announced on pc and it is very much popular right now even before its full release so it's going to be a free to play hardcore looter shooter style of extraction shooter very similar to games like escape from tarkov with very methodical slow paced tactical gameplay combined with the intensity of an extraction shooter and compared to games like escape from Tarkov. this is going to be much more of a less hardcore experience and much more accessible for average gamer and the game also implement a lot of quality of life improvement and a lot of accessibility features like in-game map compass easy to identify teammates with in-game icon and also there's not going to be any friendly fire so if you're someone like me who enjoy a lot of arcade first person shooters this is going to be an extraction shooter that you can actually pick up and enjoy and top of all that the game is completely free to play as well the close beta playtest for this game 
game was recently ended with very positive reception and hopefully we will be able to get our hands on experience with the game very soon with an open beta playtest. Another awesome upcoming game that I can't wait to get my hands on is the upcoming title Marvel Rivals. So if you ask the question what kind of a game is this, I would say it's more like a combination of Overwatch with third person perspective and packed with Marvel characters. So it's an upcoming free to play hero based arena style of a shooter which is going to develop and publish by NetEase Games. And the game is packed with great collection of Marvel characters including the popular characters like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther and also every character comes with a very unique set of active and passive skills. And with the recent launch of their official gameplay trailer, honestly it looks really interesting and fun to play. I'm not much into this type of superhero stuff but it does look really cool. And there is also going to be an upcoming close beta playtest which is going to start on the 23rd of July. So hopefully most of us will be able to get our first hands on experience with the game very very soon. Alright let's say if you are someone who is interested in playing Valorant but right now you are completely bored with the game and playing rank and completely burn out. I got the perfect upcoming game for you and that is the Frag Punk. It's going to be a free to play arena style 5v5 first person shooter. Kind of similar to Valorant but the gunplay is going to be super fun, super fast paced and arcadey. Makes this game a much more accessible for all the casual audience. The game also has a pretty unique power up card system that just work as different abilities and using the perfect card at the right time will completely change the complex of each round. And you can also pick between 10 different heroes with diverse abilities and also be able to customize your weapon combination as well as different cards that you're going to use in the battlefield. Just by looking at the gameplay I can see the gunplay is going to be very fun and very arcadey alongside pretty cool set of maps with vibrant colors. Right now we don't have any news about exact release date or any upcoming playtest but hopefully we'll be getting some information in the future. Alright moving on next up we got probably one of the most anticipated free to play releases of this year and that is the game called Delta Force Hawkops. It is hands down the number one game that I really wanted to get my hands on and with the very recently ended playtest very few content creators got access to the game and overall reception that the game receiving right now is incredibly positive. So it's going to be a free to play online multiplayer first person shooter with the large scale battles, tons of vehicles, destruction and kind of have the perfect mix between the gunplay from Call of Duty and the large scale game modes from the Battlefield games. Nevertheless at launch we can expect three different game modes. First one is called Hazard Operation which is basically a co-op extraction style of a game mode kind of similar to games like Escape from Tarkov. Next up we got Havoc Warfare which is basically like a large scale battlefield style of a game mode including a class system with unique skills and abilities, tons of vehicles, a lot of destruction with large scale maps and finally we got the single player portion of the game called Black Hawk Down and it is going to be a complete remastered version of the classic Delta Force Black Hawk campaign with iconic characters, realistic towns, battles and cinematics and it's going to be a very immersive experience and I can't wait to get my hands on with the game. And they also announced more of a public playtest for this game last week but unfortunately it got delayed so right now we don't have much information about any upcoming playtest but the game most likely will be releasing in the 2024 and hopefully we will get our hands on experience with the game very very soon. So finally I would say 2024 is going to be a great year for free to play games and no doubt there's going to be some bangers on the upcoming few months and I'm definitely keep my eye on with all of these games and definitely keep you guys updated. So if you're a fan of free to play games there is no better time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I got you covered with all brand new free to play game releases on every single month. So finally guys if you enjoyed this video so far don't forget to go ahead and drop a like on this video and also subscribe stay tuned. I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Stay safe. Thank you.